Hey guys, my name is CJ. So I have a Windows 10 laptop and I cannot search in my search bar. I've been doing all kinds of stuff to figure out how I can search in the search bar in Windows. And I finally figured it out. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's real simple. Get this going. There's a temporary fix and a permanent. I'll let you decide what you want to do after I show you. It's pretty simple. So here we go. Pay attention. <laughs> So what I'm talking about here in the corner, when you go here for type in your search, I tried typing in the search and nothing's happened. It's not letting me type anything. I tried updating and repairing and doing all stuff for the search bar. None of that worked. I looked a lot of things up. I tried a lot of different things. And there's two things that I found to resolve this, okay? So one thing is real quick and simple. I'll put this uh, information in the description, the command. But basically, see Windows System 32 CFTmon.exe. That is what drives the search. So basically, you can just open a browser and on Google, you can literally just paste that in and then hit enter. Then it downloads it right to your downloads folder. Okay. So this is the program that allows you to search. Now, this is a temporary fix. Basically, what you would do is you would double click on this. And when you double click, it opens and runs. Then you can go in search and start typing. See, there it goes, it's working. Okay, so now you'll end up restarting your computer and then that still, that search will not continue. So if you wanna know what the permanent fix is, and by the way, you can delete this, not a big deal. You can just go ahead and delete it. Uh, basically, that's temporary. You would open it and then you'd be able to use your search, your Microsoft apps. If you want to do the permanent solution, permanent fix to resolve this is click on your Windows key and your R at the same time. You want to type in reg edit because we want to get to the registry files. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Again, I'll put that in the description. Hit OK or enter. Okay, saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Say yes, you want to allow it to make changes. Now we're going to get to the registry file of where this CFT mom would be. All right, so in my second spot of my sticky note computer, key local machine, you just hit the drop down box like that, tap it again and it closes. Okay, then you would go to software. After software, you would go to Microsoft. After Microsoft, you wanna go into Windows, which will be at the very bottom. Okay, next, current version. And then from there, you wanna scroll down, click on run. Now, a fast way to get to this, instead of doing that, you can just copy this file path and literally just paste that in the search there. And it'll take you right to that section, okay? So now what we wanna do is we see that in my situation, I already have the CFT mon registry file. However, mine must be broken or it's not working, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. Do you want to delete it? Yes. You can have instability. Don't worry about that. All right. So Windows just telling you you could have instability. Are you okay to delete it? Yes, you're going to delete it. Okay. For you other things, yes, you could have instability, but not for CFT mod. Okay, so now we're going to recreate this file. What you're going to do is right click, say new string value. You're going to name it CFT mon, M O N, hit enter. Then you're going to right click, click modify, and then we need to put in the value data. The file path is the value data. So copy what I gave you, paste, and basically we're telling Windows to pull the CFT mon, execute it for the registry to basically redo the file. Hit okay, all right. You can close it out. You don't have to shrink it, none of that. Go into your search, make sure it's working. Test, it's working. And what you do wanna do is restart your computer. Hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.